Welcome back to the Zerolis campaign for Free Space 2 here on Paladin Gaming. We're going to the 27th Ten mission. Ten days ago, the SD Narlathep opened a stable jump corridor between the Tau Sigma and Sirius systems. While the GTVA Science Corps had known about this corridor previously, it was then far too unstable to travel safely. It appears that the Narlathep stabilized the corridor somehow. Our top subspace physicists are still trying to work out how the Sheevan Destroyer achieved this. The potential for such a technology, should we be able to replicate it, is enormous. More so even than the technology of the Nosos portal. Well, apparently it was the technology of the Nosos portal. We saw it do it. The majority of the Shivan battle group has since moved out of Sirius and through Deneb into Vega. Wow. They have not stopped to pursue any targets of opportunity unless they stood in the path of their relentless advance, as the shipyards in Sirius did. Fortunately, the personnel and the photon artillery prototype under development there were successfully evacuated before the shipyard was destroyed. While most of the Shivan capital ships have moved on to Vega, the Ravana class destroyer Azatoth and several smaller vessels remain in Deneb. We must now attempt to flush them out. So Fourth Fleet Vega the has hands of the full. has brought an interesting phenomenon to light. It seems that the Narlathep is still broadcasting some kind of signal to all Sheevan vessels, which it has been postulated the Sheevan vessels in the Phi Iridani Stellar gas cloud homed in on. The signal has also been picked up by a Rakshasa class cruiser that the GTVI captured during the Second Great War. After analyzing the behavior of the Sheevans, Dr. James Sheridan, an eminent scientist in the field of Sheevan research, believes that we can lure the Sheevans into a trap using the cruiser as bait. With any luck, the Sheevans will attempt to rescue their stricken cruiser, and thus open themselves up to attack. The instrument of their destruction will be the GTVX Gorgon Cannon, the most powerful defensive weapon ever constructed by the GTVA Science Corps. Oh boy! An extract of Dr. Sheridan's report on the Gorgon Cannon follows. A standard Misong bomb detonates without focus and spreads its massive destructive power in a large spherical area. By stripping out and modifying a Zephyrus class vessel, it can be used to focus the Misong charge into a coherent beam with incredible destructive potential. While the cannon is fragile and unstable, no vessel of destroyer class or below can withstand the power that it unleashes. We're going to be putting this to the test soon. Report to mission briefing, pilots. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> Command has authorized the deployment of the GTVX Gorgon Experimental Cannon for this operation. Sheridan's As Gambit. As you've heard, the cannon focuses the energy released during a Mison reaction into a coherent beam. Although the beam is powerful, the cannon itself has a low damage threshold. It is for this reason that we are deploying a considerable defensive force to protect the Gorgon. You're part of that force, Alpha Wing. The Gorgon will be defended by Alpha and Delta Wings, and the cruiser's GTC Hyperion, and the GVCV Jilva. Due to the importance of this mission, you will be permitted to carry the UD-8 Kaiser Cannon, our most powerful primary cannon. Bear in mind that while your primary objective will be to protect the Gorgon Cannon, we would like the cruisers back in one piece, if at all possible. We have more fronts than just this one to fight on, and we need every capital ship we can get. Alright. The Rakshasa class cruiser, SC Nodens, captured by GTVI during the Second Great War, has been deployed approximately two kilometers from the Gorgon Cannon. Despite being crewless, its computers continue to respond to the Sheevan signal. Our engineers stripped the cruiser of most of its weapons and engine assembly long ago. This will at least prevent the Sheevans from using the vessel against us, or any autopilot taking over and forcing the cruiser to depart. Instead, the Sheevans will have to come and get the cruiser themselves. Assuming they want it. Our captured cruiser has already attracted some Sheevan attention. While only fighters have yet arrived, heavier support is sure to follow soon. The Sheevans have attacked all GTVA vessels nearby, so it will be the job of Alpha and Delta to intercept any incoming fighters or bombers. Vessels attacking the Gorgon are to be given top priority. Everything else can take care of itself. If or when we lure the Sheevan capital ships out of hiding, the GTVX Gorgon will handle them. The initiation sequence for a sustained blast from the cannon is considerable, and your wings will be expected to fend off the Sheevans until then. Don't engage the Sheevan capital ships, and don't get caught in the Gorgon's beam. The effects will be permanent, to say the least. 
Eh, uh, you don't say. What if we get the Azatoth? The instability of the Gorgon must be constantly compensated for to prevent a critical overload of the cannon's main reaction chambers and power regulators. It is for this reason that the cannon must be manned, however dangerous this may be. Defend the cannon at all costs, Alpha. The 23 technicians and scientists on board will be counting on you to get them through this. Get down to the loading bays, Alpha. It's time to bag ourselves some Sheevans. Isn't it always that time? Alright, primary objective is protect the Gorian Cannon, destroy the Sheevan capital ships, secondarily defend the Hyperion and Jilva. Okay, so Persei again. Oh boy, I have access to the Ares. If I wind up having to intercept multiple bomber wings over a wide area, I will load an Ares full of trebuchets, but... Uh... Alright, seems good. Because the, uh... The Kaiser is a heavy... has a real heavy power draw, so... A real heavy power draw, so I don't want to load up both banks with one with them. Because it's also powerful enough to shred anything with just two with just two gun mounts. So let's commit. Alright. Wow, that's quite a sight, isn't it? It's a Mison Bomb Doc to a Gas Miner. Alright, not gonna burn trebuchets on the Astaroth. Especially when they're not attacking our uh, protectee. Oh right, I didn't take harpoons, so I don't have very many shots of that. Whoa, did he just stop? Even flight models are weird, man. Got it. Oops. Let's just get you in there now. Gemini wing neutralized. Heads up, pilot. More seasons are inbound. Alright, well, let's just kill these guys. Going, please. Yeah, the case is plenty powerful enough on two guns now. Basilisk. Basilisks for not basilisks. What the hell, man? The SD Calvin Kane class. Neutralize the fighters, Alpha. Gorgon control. Prepare for test fire. Affirmative. Prepare to fire 25 percent now. 
stay out of the way, Alpha. Yeah, I would not like to get hit by that. And I'm out of trebuchets. There's a target, there's a gun. And there's a piece of floating basilisk debris. Do they not fire until we kill all the dragons? Firing now. Okay. That answers that question. Huh, it seems to emit from one of the transports rather than... That's a rock out the turn. Looks like you have the beast on fire regulation and nailed as well. Excellent. Wow, that's the way you get the hell out of the front of that thing. Unfortunately, it's not in Vega. I, I, unfortunately, it's not in Deneb, it's in Vega. Get back in in escort formation. Don't try to rest easy. We've got the Hebrews and Deflos on the vector to attack the Jovea. Engage those bombers. We cannot afford to lose the cannon's defense force. trebuchet on that thing. I think we're gonna run out of ammo before we run out of targets here. Oh, damn it. Nope. We're about done with that. You're gonna have my last trebuchet. Get him, Delta. And here comes the support ship. Ah, got him. the Gorgon. Stop them before they do any serious damage. Yeah, they're attacking the Gorgon. Yeah, that ruins the use of trips. Oh, unlock! What is wrong with you? Just doing our job, Gorgon. I see that 
Azrael transport has arrived and is attempting to dock with the SD Noden. Stop that ship, pilot. If the shooting for the Noden, our leads will be uncovered. I got it. We'll take the fighters. Alpha 1, prepare the transport now. Got it, Alpha 2. I gonna kill it? Yeah, I got it. Give you a status update. out of here. Oh, sentry guns survived the explosion. That's funny. Alright. Uh, do we want to leave this thing here for the Sheevans? Yeah, whatever. Let's punch it. The arrival of the SD Azatoth was unexpected and caught our forces off guard. We had not expected to lure such a vessel into the area. It was only thanks to the quick action of the crew of the GTVX Gorgon Cannon that we were able to eliminate the Sheevan Destroyer. It is the first major victory we can claim. However, this victory comes at a price. The GVCV Jilva was annihilated by the Azatoth, and the crew of the Gorgon Cannon were killed in a Mison containment breach that destroyed the cannon. The loss of the prototype may be a blow, but it is the loss of life that is most terrible. The GTC Hyperion survived this engagement and will now assist in strikes on the Sheevan fleet elsewhere, bolstering our offensive capability. Captain Jacobson of the Hyperion thanks the 212 for defending his vessel. I am afraid that there is no time to rest. A GTVA strike force has run into serious trouble in Vega and you will be deployed ASAP to assist. Get ready for some more action pilots. Wait, so we're being deployed from another system to scramble to fourth fleet's rescue. All right, 23 total kills and five assists. Two dragons, five basilisks, two manticores, four Mars, four Astaros, two Nephilims, two Nahimas, one Azrael transport, and I got the kill on the Ravana. That's hilarious. 
We are all time total of 559 with 74 assists. So this was Sheridan's Gambit, the 27th, I think, uh, mission of, Derel of the Derelict Campaign for Free Space 2 here on Paladin Gaming. This is Paladin Gaming, signing off.